shot and dumped under an Auburn bridge. Was this a gangland murder? A trainee driver behind the wheel during the derailment at Edgecliff. Heat wave crisis. Scorching temperatures bring misery across three states. The Premier's back, but will have to wait for action on street violence. And from the mountains to the sea, Sydney's plans for Australia Day. This is Nine News with Deborah Knight. Good evening. Homicide detectives and forensic officers have spent the day combing parkland in Auburn for clues to the apparent gunshot murder of a man in his 20s. His body was found under a bridge. Police hoping a post-mortem will help identify the victim. All the evidence pointed towards murder. A man's body face down in the bush with a T-shirt covering Judy, wounds. I realise that we are blessed to live in a, in a country like this. Lizzie Pearl, Nine News. In the news ahead, a mystery hero saves a child from her burning home. The pilot who survived a nine kilometre plunge into the ocean. Also up for grabs, a papal Harley Davidson. And extreme measures for extreme conditions at the tennis. There's been an unexpected development in the mysterious deaths of a mother and daughter in Bali. A Melbourne man has revealed he too fell violently ill and was admitted to hospital after eating at the restaurant linked to the deaths of Nolene and Ivana Bischoff. Heath Barclay was put on a drip for nine hours after suffering severe dehydration from a bacterial infection caused by the food he'd eaten. A mystery hero has punched through glass to bravely rescue a toddler trapped in a burning house on our south coast. The 18-month-old girl was surrounded by flames and thick smoke inside the North Nowra home before the passerby intervened. Safe in the arms of her mum. The baby was screaming. The toddler was dragged from this burning house in North Nowra this morning. And then the baby came out like completely black, covered in ashes and crying. Rescuers had to... There are already concerns over tomorrow for what is expected to be a carbon copy of today, Tim. Thanks, Clint. Uh, we'll have all the highlights from the tennis a little later on. Plus, an extraordinary insight into the coaching methods of Darren Lehman. We see how he gets the best out of the Australian cricketers. And we catch up with Brad Freddie Fittler as he heads to a comeback in the nines. That's coming up shortly. That should be interesting, Tim Goodoni. Thank you. In the news ahead, a worker makes a horrifying discovery in a quiet corner of West Hoxton. Also, why Apple is refunding money to thousands of customers. And the award no one wants to receive. Guess which Aussie star is nominated. A grisly discovery for a man at West Hoxton uncovering a woman's body while fixing a fence on his property. Police believe she'd been there for at least a month. A vacant block of land on Flynn Avenue and the final resting place for a young woman. The man who rents the paddock spotted what he to the heart. It's groundbreaking and we'll have a full details on that new treatment coming up shortly. Right now, though, Tim is here with sport. Deb, coming up, we have a young Aussie taking on world number one at the Australian Open. We'll see how he fared. An Aussie star to sit out the next three one days, and why Brad Fittler's wife isn't impressed with his comeback. And Sydney continues to swelter. I'll tell you when we'll see some relief from this heat a little later. The next generation of Aussie tennis stars are on show at the Australian Open tonight. Nick Kyrgios begins his second round match shortly, while Tanasi Kokonakis is on court now against world number one Rafael Nadal. Nadal leads one set to love. It's by far the biggest moment of his young career, but if Tanasi Kokonakis was nervous, he didn't show it. Charity motorbike ride across New South Wales. Neil Breen, Nine News. And Freddie will be at a special New South Wales State of Origin dinner tomorrow night, marking the launch of their season. We'll bring you the sport from inside the inner sanctum. Deb. Let's hope the Blues can do it, Tim. Good on you. Thank you. Stay with us. Still ahead, the amazing new treatment reducing the damage of heart attack. And from the freezing Antarctic to sunny Sydney, a man and his bizarre bobsled. To our top stories, the search is on for clues to identify a gunshot murder victim found under a bridge in Auburn. 
It's been revealed a trainee driver was behind the wheel of a train that derailed near Edgecliff Station. Homes and businesses in Penrith have lost power amid scorching temperatures. And Kate Blanchett awaits news on a possible fifth Oscar nomination. A discovery by local and international scientists could dramatically improve the way heart attack patients are treated. They developed a novel way of protecting the heart from further damage and scarring by injecting the blood with microparticles. There's a heart attack in Australia every 10 minutes and Liverpool Hospital patient Ziggy Schmidt counts himself lucky to have survived to toboggan, one... The somewhat risque but appropriate boob sled. Coming up, a quick check of petrol and finance, plus Amber with the weather. Thank you very much, Deb. It was another scorcher in our west today. The mercury is still sitting at 34 degrees this evening and there is more hot weather on the way. I'll have the full forecast next. Taking a look at finance for you now. And the stock market rallied to close higher today. The All Lords up 63 points. Our dollar dropped again and is buying 88.13 US cents. The average petrol price is $1.50 a litre. The price cycle is now on its way up and prices will climb further in coming days. Now here's Amber. It was a hot and sunny day with a fresh and gusty sea breeze picking up along the coast this afternoon. It reached the top of 38 in Penrith, that's 7 above average, 35 in Campbelltown, 33 in Liverpool. A subtly change moves through on Sunday, bringing some relief from the heat. It will still reach 31 degrees though before a possible late storm moves through. Monday will be cool and cloudy with a shower or two, warming up again by Tuesday, Deb. Bring on that cool change, Amber. Thank you. That is Nine News for this Thursday. I'm Deborah Knight. Thanks for your company. From the team, enjoy your evening.